Oh, hey, hey, Mike here. Thanks for watching Science with Mike. And today we're going to talk about catalysts. Catalysts are a substance that speed up a chemical reaction without being consumed by it itself. And this happens inside you when you basically are burning carbon. You're taking carbon chains and you're converting them to CO2 and water and you're doing it in baby steps and you're doing it with things called enzymes which are catalysts. There is, however, the odd case where people spontaneously combust into flames and that's called spontaneous human combustion which, by the way, has never, ever happened! Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about catalysts and how they work, and let's do it right now. Put them right here. Okay, I'll move. If you watch the other videos with exothermic reactions, what happens is you're going from high to low energy, but you don't go directly. You go over a little hump called the activation energy. It's just like this. This is an exothermic reaction just waiting to happen. And if I give it enough energy, right now I'm not though. They don't have enough energy to get over the hump. All those molecules are just like, eh, 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 I don't have enough energy. But if I put enough in, like if I put enough in, hey oh, they get over the hump, you got a reaction. A catalyst comes in by making the hump smaller. Digging a little tunnel through the activation energy, which is what we call the hump. It's just like driving through Virginia where you got to go through a tunnel, except I usually have anxiety attacks in those things. All right, let's see one in action right now. Today we're going to decompose hydrogen peroxide and the catalyst are very many piece of potato, chicken livers, but I didn't want to go to the grocery store and get chicken livers. So I have potassium iodide, which is also a very good catalyst. It breaks this down from H2O2 to water and oxygen, and it makes a lot of gas in the form of bubbles. So what I've done is I've taken the potassium iodide, made a solution of it, because this has a potential to possibly go over the height of this graduated cylinder, which doesn't have lines on it, but I'm a professional. I don't need to measure stuff. Okay. We're going to take about 100 milliliters of this hydrogen peroxide, which is, by the way, 30% hydrogen peroxide. Now to capture the oxygen, I'm going to put in some liquid soap. That will actually help capture the bubbles that are produced. I'll add some food coloring. So, uh, what color are you guys? Maybe? Green. Green? I don't have any green. I just got blue. Okay, so we're just going to do blue. And we're getting ready to measure out some of the catalyst. I'm going to put about 50 milliliters in there, or about half of this. Now, when I do this for kids as at volunteer events, we do a little countdown from 10, but that's kind of childish. So uh, I think we should do a countdown from three. Uh, so here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, I don't go on the floor. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's steam. And uh, now I got to clean that up. You can touch this. It's really, really hot. It's really hot. Ow. Okay? So that's the power of a catalyst. Thanks for watching. See you next time.